चक्षुरमृतम तस्म श्री गुरव नम गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय सदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम वाकतरुस्कृपा सिंधुव्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णेभ्यो नमो नम संसार दुख जरद से पति काम क्रोधादीन क्रम क्लिकृत दुर्वासन से निगृत निराश्रय से चेतन्य चंद्रमा मदे पदावलब जयता सुतपंगुर मम मंद मतेर्गति मत्सर्वस्पदा भुज श्रीराधा मदन मोहन भक्तिया विहीनाय अपराध लक्ष्य क्षिप्त सकांग मध्य कृपा मयि तम शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते शरणारविंदम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदु गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे रिपीट आफ्टर मी श्वेता श्वेता नित्यम गीयता गीयता मुदा चिंतता चिंतता भक्त चेतन्य चरित्रृत चेतन्य चरित्रृत सो शिष्य चेतन्य चेता में भाई कृष्णदास कबीराज गोस्वामी those who considered prem bhakti means the love of god that devotion which is only the devotion which is only meant to please the please krishna is called prema bhakti those who considered prema bhakti to be the highest goal of life prem purushartha <coughs> those devotees are known as rasik bhaktas means the pure devotees anyone who associate with those your devotees rasik bhaktas then with uh, with that association of those rasik bhaktas then the seed of bhakti manifest in the heart <coughs> the seed of bhakti which bhakti because that seed is very powerful and the seed is of prema bhakti therefore the seed of bhakti gets sprouts sprouted in the heart but those who are karmis karmis means those who only want to enjoy the material world the sense gratification of this material world and those who are gyanis those who only want liberation these people <clears throat> also sometimes it appears they are also 
doing some bhakti but actually their bhakti is not param bhakti means for prema bhakti their bhakti is not param purushartha their bhakti is not actually prem bhakti ek mural hai ye table udhar kar do their bhakti is please excuse me i have to sit in a different posture <clears throat> okay. So their bhakti is bhakti of they take they take advantage of bhakti, but actually. they take support of bhakti only to get their desires fulfilled that's all they are not doing bhakti for the sake of bhakti understand whereas pure devotees those who want to love krishna their bhakti is meant for the sake of bhakti understand those who are materialistic sense enjoyers <clears throat> sometimes it is seen they are also doing some bhakti then more in some devotion but actually they are uh, taking advantage their opportunities they are taking advantage of that devotion oh. even those who are gyanis who want liberation it is seen that sometimes they also take advantage uh, performing bhakti but actually they want to take advantage because bhakti is supporting karma and bhakti is supporting gyan i mean to say uh, i mean to say only because of bhakti they are accomplishing their set up goals of the life which is not the pleasure of krishna which is not prema bhakti so that's why they cannot relish they cannot relish the bhakti <clears throat> and that's why bhakti does not come in their heart and that's the reason they are not the recipient of bhakti ras they are not the recipient of bhakti ras and that's why in this verse when it is said about bhakt bhagavat <coughs> bhakt bhagavat here means not karmis and gyanis bhakt bhagavat here means those who only want prema bhakti in their life or those who are in love with krishna they are bhakta bhagavat so only association with this bhakta bhagavat one can attain prema bhakti there is no other way no other way no other way <clears throat> next verse ek adbhut samkale dohar prakash आर अद्भुत चित गोहार तम करे नाश दिस इज वेरी एस्टोनिशिंग देन सन एंड मून दे बोथ मैनिफेस्ट एट द सेम टाइम डू द सन एंड मून मैनिफेस्ट सेम टाइम नो देन मैनिफेस्ट डिफरेंट टाइम्स <clears throat> sun is manifesting in the night time and moon is manifesting in the morning time yes or no no 
sun in manifesting the moon uh, morning time moon manifesting in night time but they both exist in their in their origin they both exist there <clears throat> but it is what they manifest in a different times <clears throat> similarly she god sundar means she ma prabhu like sun and she nityam prabhu <clears throat> koti chandra sushitala like moon they both manifested at the same time this is very astonishing that they because of their rising because of their manifestation <clears throat> they are destroying the very secret ignorance which is present in the heart they are destroying that which is those uh, uh, those agyan those anarthas which are uh, present in the heart in in very in depth in very deep form they present in the heart <clears throat> so mahaprabhu like sun and nitam prabhu like moon they both are destroying this uh andhakar darkness in the heart ei chandra sure dui param sadai जगतेर भाग्य गौड़ करील उदय दिस बोथ सन एंड मून दे आर वेरी वेरी मर्सीफुल फुल ऑफ कंप्लीट मर्सी वी कैन सी सन एंड मून इन मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दे आल्सो लुक लाइक सो मर्सीफुल they are so merciful if there is no sun there will be not so much plantation when the, if there is no moon also there will be no plantation so food fruits creepers all these things get nourish with bhakti sorry they manifest because of the presence of sun and moon oh. <coughs> similarly <coughs> महाप्रभु एंड नित्यम प्रभु वेरी मर्सीफुल टेकिंग इनकारनेशन वेरी मर्सीफुल फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द जीवस ओके now in the commentary ragnu thakur is raising this point jagater bhagye why it is said the world is so fortunate to receive shri mahaprabhu and shri nitya prabhu why the jagatvasis the uh, the residents of the world they are fortunate because of their presence because these two brothers they propagated a special dharma which was never been propagated before which dharma they propagated 
they propagated uh, <coughs> the prem dharma means the bhagavad dharma by practicing and then by preaching mahaprabhu by practicing and then preaching nitya prabhu also by so much preaching the preaching started by shri nitya prabhu mahaprabhu ordered first of all shri nitya prabhu to start to go and start preaching prior to this nitya prabhu did not did not started preaching and did not giving prem but when mahaprabhu told suno suno nitanam suno haridas amar agya sarvat karo prachar prati grihe grihe karo ei vikha bolo krishna bhajo krishna karo krishna shiksha o nitanam go and preach ha uh, go each and every house and preach them what bolo krishna kaho krishna karo krishna shiksha so this that is the great fortune of the jeevas in this kalyuga that they received the most merciful incarnation shri nitya prabhu and shri mahaprabhu ha gaura nitai tora dhuti bhai adham padita bandhu o mahaprabhu nitya prabhu you are savior of the fallen i am the most fallen so please take care of me okay why we say god desh we are godious godious means just like any person taken birth in holland we say oh is a dutch person now this person if he travels to america if he goes and stay in russia or if he stay in india still his identity will be he is a dutch person no matter any part of the world he or she stays okay we all are called godias actually the word godia means one who has taken birth in god desh the residence of god this is god desh is one area one territory and people of those god desh are known as godia but godia also means those who are worshiping uh, mahaprabhu who is the predominant deity of god desh so the devotees of gorang mahaprabhu are known as godias so similarly no matter where they stay which part of the world they stay any country town village they are known as godias understand with this analogy they are known as godias so there was a king very old story there was a king staying in gaur nagar in one territory called gaur nagar and after long years they brought their throne to shri navdeep dham and that's why navdeep mandal is known as gaur bhumi the land of gaur means godiers because of that because this king from gaur desh from gaur nagar they brought their throne and established in navdeep dham and because of this king and their subjects uh as well um, migrated to navdeep uh, dham and that's why 
नवदीप मंडल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गौड़ भूमि एंड देन श्री चेतने महाप्रभु ऑल्सो टूक बर्थ इन द ईस्ट साइड ऑफ गंगा एंड श्री नित्यम प्रभु मेट महाप्रभु देयर इन द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ गंगा मींस इन दैट मायापुर धाम दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नोन एज गौड देश से दुई प्रभु करी चरण वंदन जा हैते विघ्न नाश अभिष्ट पुराण श्री कविराज श्री कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी because he already explained so much siddhanta uh, in all these verses prior to this but now he is coming to end of this chapter so therefore he simply is saying i pray and worship the lotus feet of these two prabhus two prabhus means Shri Mahaprabhu and Shri Nityanand Prabhu, because by worshiping their feet, all the obstacles get destroyed, <clears throat> and one is able to get all his desires fulfilled. Two things happen. One is by remembering the lotus feet of Shri Nityanand Prabhu and Mahaprabhu, means two brothers. Two things happen simultaneously. One is all the obstacles get destroyed. Another is all the desires get fulfilled. So Kaviraj Goswami is saying, in this way, I have given vivid explanation of Mangala Charan. Now you all attentively hear the third verse. So far, he gave vivid explanation of the two verses. and now he is saying everyone here everyone now here the explanation of the third verse vaktavya bahulle granth vistare dare vistare na varne sararth kahi alpakshare See what Kaviraj Goswami is saying. Even though there are so many more explanation I can do in regard to what I already said. Imagine what Kaviraj Goswami is saying. Ah, he is saying even though there are the it can, uh, even though the explanation can be expanded or can be expressed or said in more details. but i don't want to because but because of the fear that this book chetane chetamit will be too lengthy therefore i am explaining everything in sankshep in essence so imagine krishna stavirai you are saying saying i am only speaking in essence i'm not going in very details and this is only essence and imagine if you start speaking details then how lengthy the book will be this is only the essence he said so because of the fear that this book will go too lengthy i'm only trying to present this in essence मितंच सारंच वचो ही वाग मिता दिस वर्ड्स टू बी लर्न ओके वेरी सिंपल फोर 
three, four, five. Five words. Mitansya sarancha vacho hi vajmita. This is a symptom of very intellectual person. That means that means to describe to describe any sentence in just few words as the essence of that sentence is called Vagmita. Vagmita means uh, eloquence. It's called eloquence. <clears throat> Understand? <clears throat> Describing explanation like if someone is going speaking 15 minutes you know what happened you know this you know that this that this that this the, 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 the complete essay 15 minutes <laughs> yeah but just another person comes and said oh so the essence you want to say is you are very tired and you want to eat and sleep yes exactly this is what i want to say so why elaborate it in 30 minutes i went there i woke up this time i did that i did that i was learning i did so what is the essence essence is you wanted to say that you are tired and you want to sleep yes yes exactly <laughs> so it's called expressing in essence it's called uh, there's a style this is a style it's called Vagmitta. Many different natures, many people they are extrovert. They go speaking, speaking, speaking. Oh my goodness, stop it. They go one hour, two hour. You know, like a newsletter, <laughs> like a news. <laughs> speaking, 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 speaking. But the other person comes and just say a few words. Okay, I got it. I got your point. Yeah. So this is called eloquence. Saying everything in few words. So Kaviraj Goswami is saying, I'm using, I'm using this art of Vag Mitta. Vag means speech. Like the, the, the goddess of speech is Saraswati. Vagisha Yasevadne Lakshmiryasa Vakshasi Yes, yes, they hid a some bit. Tab nursing, ambade. Ito nursinga, parato nursinga, yato, yato, ya, meet a to nursinga. You see? So, Vagisha, yes, sir. Lakshmi, yes, sir. What she see? Saraswati Devi. She's the goddess of speech. So, Vagamitta. This is the art of speech. So Kaviraj Goswami said, I've only chose few words to describe. Otherwise, I'm in fear that this grunt, this book will go too lengthy. Srila hmm. Bhakti Siddhan Sri Thakur Prabhupada commenting in just one line saying, <clears throat> Uh, the art of speech is what just say just expressing the words which are spoken in which only give the I can't focus uh, just expressing of the words which is essence in nature and which only speaks about the goal means the subject matter not any prajalpa not this and that come to the point that's all shunile khandibe chitter agyan adi dosh krishne gaad prem habe paibe santosh
anyone who hears this no sunile khandi me chitter adhyan adi dosh anyone who is going to hear this what will happen all the dosh all the faults and agyanta and ignorance will be destroyed but that's not only the prayojan that's not only the goal something more will happen and that is uh uh the love in krishna there will be a person will also going to develop so much love with krishna and because of that one gets peacefulness in the heart otherwise heart is always very restless the mind is restless the heart is restless thinking many other uh things of the world but when there is guard frame guard frame means very condemns love for krishna comes in the heart then heart gets peaceful in the nature not running here and there in ten direction one mind set up one goal this is the prayojan of my life this is the goal of my life i only want this so if i only want this and i understood this is the goal of my life then i start walking on the same path on the same process and something very wonderful about this process is yena sthan nano rajan na pramadit karchit bhaval nivindya vana netra na sphalena na patedi anyone who walks in this path bhagavad dharma even if he trip if he falls or whatever happens no loss no loss bhaval nivindya vana netra na sphalena na patedi there is no chance of any loss in this path therefore this path is the safest path because mahajano je gata sapantha this path is followed by or shown by or initiated by mahajans mahajans means all our guru vargas the pure devotees in mahabharata uh in in the scripture mahabharata it is mentioned that there are 12 kind of faults in the jeevas but in vishnu puran it is mentioned there are 18 kind of faults in the jeevas mahabharat says there are 12 kinds vishnu puran say there are eight kinds <clears throat> what are these eighteen kind of faults this is mentioned in bhagavad swami sindhu also by shri rup goswami pad so many places in the books of shri rup goswami pad you will find that even though he is writing verses which astonish even the great scholars but many other times in his books in his writings is also he is giving evidences from puranas he is giving evidences from puranas also ha yeah. so it's not that he is taking so humble position 
even though he has you know just like there is a shloka book not the shloka book which everyone has this pocket size there is a shloka book which is uh, written by shirug goswami pad that shloka book is called padyavali padyavali oh, so many beautiful shlokas in that uh, in that book so man, uh, if anyone reads thoroughly that book you will find some verses written by him means rupa goswami and some verses he just got from previous acharyas previous acharyas means evident from puranas and rupa goswami stamped that by writing in his in his book padyavali so chirug goswami par explaining 18 faults in the jeevas <coughs> yeah what are these 18 faults okay mo sandra brahma ruruksh kam ulvanam mad masarjya hinsa khed parishramo uh, asatyam krodham akansha ashanka vish vibhram parapeksha dosh ashto dishita understand i mean you are hearing 18 faults mo sandra brahma mo sandra brahm ruruksh kam ulvanam mad masarjya hinsa khet parishramo a asatyam krodham akansha ashanka vish vibhram parapeksha dosh asho dishta what is the meaning what are this 18 faults one is moha moha means illusion then tandra you know tandra this is what happens when one is very seriously hearing hari katha you understand no if someone is sincerely seriously hearing hari katha then one goes to samadhi that's called tandra hari <laughs> katha seriously hearing hari katha uh, once upon a time i asked once upon a time i asked one devotee hey don't sleep he said no 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 maharaj i'm not sleeping then what are you doing so no i'm trying to remember the words sarv dharman paritajya maam ekam karma aam tam sarv tate moksha mimachi kisandra okay yeah. especially <coughs> morning arti wow that's and getting up for mangal arti is like a big challenge a person feels like what is this is this is a temple life temple life should be a devotional life should be easy going relaxing but this is like a military rule get up get up is a military life or a devotee life devotee life should be peaceful so get it in the morning okay anyway shower mangala shri guru gaura mangala murati and there are some devotees they have it they can even they can even sleep while standing no oh. because there are so many in number they can sleep while they are standing like horse horse can sleep while standing <laughs> that's a speciality <laughs> i'm not joking i've seen namde you know the name huh i will not tell the name my devotees know this 
is turning and sleeping. There is one devotee who was driving for me. You know, the temple where I'm from, uh, sorry, the area where I'm constructing this temple, near Kurshetra. I ended my Bhagavad Sapta there and he was bringing me uh, this uh, center. So, he is good size person. It's like a balloon. <laughs> Yes, and devotees of Ambala, they call him Teddy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> My devotees in Ambala, they know that they are laughing. So he's, he's like a big balloon size and he was driving. I was sitting in the back and while driving, I saw in that, you know that the mirror, the rear view mirror, I saw and he was like, his hand was straining and his eyes was closed. He was sleeping while he's driving. <laughs> My goodness. When I saw, he, saw him, I slapped him from behind. Hey! Then he... <laughs> I said, what are you doing? <clears throat> hey, oh, sorry. Sorry, Gurudev. Sorry, Maharaj. Oh, I fall asleep. I said, My goodness, you make me sleep forever. If you drive like this, <laughs> so I said, park, park your car, wash your face, and I will drive. You sit in the back. No, 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 I will drive. I said, no, I don't trust you anymore. Then I drove, and he was sitting. And he, you know, in the rear seat, he just sat there. And after a while, <laughs> I'm snoring. So many different varieties, no? <laughs> Standing, sleeping, driving, sleeping. It's a fault. So Mangal Arati <clears throat> is the best time. So I heard many devotees saying this. Uh, after evening prasadam, 9 o'clock, I mean 10 o'clock when they go to bed, they lie down and say, wow, that's the best time of the day. That's the best time of the day. But when they get up in the morning for Mangal Aarti, what is this? This is military rule. This is military rule. We have to get up in the morning. And what? Okay, Aarti. But after Aarti, what is this? Moving around one plant. What is this moving around one plant? What is the glories of this moving around one plant? <laughs> I'm not getting any chance of sleep. Anyway, this is called Tandra. <clears throat> then Brahm. Brahm, bewilderment. Imagery got bewildered. Like Brahmaji. Brahmaji got bewildered. He was in Brahm to see how Krishna oh, manifested coward voice like that. So bewildered. We also get bewildered. We don't understand what is right. We don't understand what is wrong. So this is called Surup Brahm. So Tatve Paratatve Cha Sadhan Sadhu Tatve. Who is Krishna? Who am I? What is my relationship with Krishna? And what is that sadhan practice to get <coughs> proximity with Krishna? <coughs> bewilderment. <coughs> See? Also bewilderment. Who is our enemy and who is our friend? Person who is speaking sweet words <coughs> appears like, oh, he is my best friend. Who knows? That person can be our enemy. And when we speak harsh or rough, it appears that person is my enemy. But it can be done in a friendly mood for the sake of well-being, welfare of the other person. 
restlessness uh, ego enviousness violence uh, endeavor uh, parishram parishram is endeavor telling lies anger so much expectations ashanka doubts all these are called 18 faults so why rup goswami pad explain this 18 faults in bhakti sam sindhu not because we want to uh, explain the faults of the jeevas but because of his ex- he want to explain krishna being supreme lord and krishna stays in golok vrindavan golok eva nivasatim akil atma bhuto govinda madhi purusham tamam bhajami in golok vrindavan there is no fault at all in krishna there cannot be any fault at all perfect personality oh but when he descend in this material world which is full of faults then krishna also accept the faults because he is in material world he accept this not that he is bound in this faults the two different things he he personally accept this why he want to expand his past times but even when he personally accept this faults this faults cannot touch him as lotus is in mud but mud cannot touch lotus krishna in this material world with 18 faults in the jeevas but krishna accept with his own sweet desire with own sweet will he accept this faults but faults cannot touch krishna so why he accept this faults he display many of his past times let's say let's say one uh asatya means speaking lies krishna never can speak lies is all truth advai gyan par tatva all truth oh. <clears throat> mahabharat says satyam pratishtitam krishna satyam atya pratishtitam satya satyam govinda satyam hi kamata oh. wherever krishna is all truth is there wherever all truth is there krishna is there oh bhagavatam first verse says satyam param dhimahi bhagavatam ends up with kasman yen vibhasitam tule gyan pradip pura and ends up by saying satyam param dhimahi yeah krishna is all satya all truth he never tell lies but in vrindavan we see we hear tell lies yes he is accepting this fault not that fault is touching krishna why is it accepting his fault oh he just want to give pleasure to yashoda maiya and he also wants to show to the entire world see the glories of my associates they even if they see my offense they never believe i am supreme lord example is krishna ate mud where where he ate mud 
गोकुल ब्रह्मांड घाट He ate mud at Gokul. Then all the his friends, Sakas, came and complained to Mother Yashoda. Maya, today Krishna has eaten mud. Huh? I am so much tired of him. Every day I am hearing so much complaints that he is stealing butter. And what makes him to eat mud today? What is this? Let him come. When Krishna came. Dancing posture, so relaxed, nice. And he, when he came near to his mo- mother, uh, Maya Yashoda, when he when he saw her face, he understood something is wrong. Maya face is different like other days. He already saw something is wrong, and then before he was dancing and coming. and now he is starting walking straight because something is something is wrong moment he came near to mother yashoda immediately her hand goes to her ears twisted her his ears and maya said hey what i am hearing today maya what you heard today i am hearing you ate what today enough enough of your ha huh? complaints i'm hearing every day enough what makes you eat mud today no maya i'm not eaten mud who told you i've eaten mud who told you your sakas just now they told me And Krishna was wondering, oh my goodness, these sakas are too much. At the time of stealing butter, they are always with me, accompanying me, and relishing butter along with me. But today I have eaten mud, and they are complaining to Maya. So bad. Then Krishna applied his tricks now. Maya, all you know, all these sakas are telling lies. Oh, only you are the one who speaks truth. Maya, I never speak lie. I always tell truth. I'm not eaten mud. Then what are you hiding in your mouth? Why don't you show me? <clears throat> Maya, there's nothing in my mouth. Then why are you speaking like this? Why not speaking straight? And Krishna thought, let me open my mouth and show to Maya. If I speak in confidence, Maya will release me. नाहम बक्षी तमंबा सर्वे मिथ्या विष्णु सिना यदि सत्य ग्रही समक्ष पक्ष में मुखम मैया आई एम नॉट इटन मर्ड इफ यू डोंट बिलीव माई वर्ड यू कैन ओपन माई माउथ एंड कैन सी वाई टू ओपन योर माउथ यू ओपन योर माउथ ट्राई टू ओपन इज माउथ देन द लीला शक्ति ऑफ कृष्णा she thought <coughs> that maya never believes that krishna is supreme lord today i will make maya means yashoda maya believe that krishna is not ordinary boy he is supreme personality so leela shakti she manifested the reality the truth and that is krishna is in the mouth of krishna there were so many brahmand so many universes imagine young boy only maybe 2 years 2 and a half year and he opened his mouth and so many universes and maya saw this and she fell unconscious so two things one is to show the glories of brajvasis even though i have shown to maya my identity that i am supreme lord and that all universes are in me <clears throat> still maya didn't believe this and she fainted otherwise she 
like she could have like devaki folded hands and praying to krishna like krishna when he killed kamsa he came in the prison house of kamsa to release <coughs> devaki and vasudev and moment devaki and vasudev saw krishna they folded hands yujam natana suto sakshat pradhan guru shish karo oh you krishna balram you are not my sons you are not our sons you are pradhan guru shish karo you are supreme lord beyond the nature just only hearing that krishna skill comes sir this what happening to devaki but mother yashoda saw the universes and she also saw herself in the mouth of krishna so to to exhibit to show <coughs> to everyone the glories of the brajvasis that even if i am showing my opulence they don't believe that i am supreme lord they don't believe this huh this is one point other is but this is isn't it true that krishna is telling lie to mother yashoda white lie we all know we know krishna ate a mud but krishna saying i am not ate a mud what is this then and is telling lie right right in front of mother yashoda naam bakshitam amba maya i am not ate a mud isn't he telling lie no he is telling truth because na hum means in sanskrit maya what to speak of eaten mud you saying krishna have you eaten mud and i am replying to you what to speak of eating mud i have eaten the whole universe is in me the all universe is in me you are not understanding what i want to say maya you are not understanding you are only understanding mud but i am saying what to speak of eaten mud i have written the whole universes and i'm going to show you now so where is krishna telling lies but he accepted this fault why because of this reason and when maya saw this she fainted when she fainted kanaiya touched mother yashoda maya maya what happened what happened and maya came back to her consciousness when she came back to her consciousness then we showed him i said krishna what i saw in your mouth so nothing maya nothing in my mouth and more and more love the vatsalya the affection mood of mother yashoda reflected after this try to understand when a love the stream of love flows continuously and when there is some obstruction in that stream like dam in india we have dams they hold water they you know they they put a dam not rotted dam <clears throat> but a dam where they stop the water for some reason many reason the water is stopped but when moment they open the dam what happens the water goes four times more speed <clears throat> than it was flowing before earlier when the love flows in one stream and one obstruction comes in between and after that obstructions is over then that love that stream goes flows in a more speed so there is no doubt mother yashoda is and uh, uh, don't love krishna she love krishna so much but after seeing putna has taken my krishna away after seeing so many universes in the mouth of krishna and she is fainting and when she regained her consciousness and when she see krishna ah my lala immediately she is embracing krishna 
and tears flowing from her eyes and milk flowing from her breast. Intentionally, Krishna is with the support of this yoga maya potency doing this pastime to enhance that love. Huh? Is Brajvasis to en enhance that love, and that can only be possible when there is some obstruction. If there is no, then it's not that palatable. In Dwarka, everything goes smooth. The queens loving Krishna, no doubt, serving Krishna with all their, you know. Uh, affection and all their love and all their services. And there is some separation. There, it's not that there is no separation. There is some separation. But the intensity of that separation in Braj is too high. It's too high. Oh. And that's why there is more love and there is more obstructions. Why all these demons coming? Utna, Agasur, Bakasur, Tinnavrat, uh, uh, Vyomasur, Keshi, Bakasur, and their Sasur. Sur and their Sasur. All coming. Because after this, there is more love manifesting amongst Krishna and Rajavasis. So the idea of all, when Krishna wants to enhance that love, his yoga maya potency, you know, just like taking one toy. Inspire Kamsa, and Kamsa sending Utana. Kamsa sending Shaktasur, Tirnavrat, Agasur, Bakasur, Vyomasur, Keshi. Don't think I'm doing a rap. Bhagasur, Bhagasur, Keshi. <laughs> it's just Yoga Maya is pulling like this. She's arranging this. And after all these demons got killed by Krishna, then imagine what is that love? It, it goes four times more. Because some obstruction is there. That's why Krishna Leela is not that straight. The love of Krishna is not that straight. No. It's not that straight. And that's why he is accepting all these faults. So, Manifest his past ones. But faults cannot touch Krishna. Krishna is accepting this fault. If someone binds you with a rope, that's called someone binded you forcefully. Binding is binding, right? But someone offer you a very, very expensive tie. It's also bound binding. But you put this tie and go to your office. Oh, I look handsome. It's also one kind of binding. But no one is forcing you to this. You yourself, with your this is your decoration. So these faults are not any bounding on Krishna, but he accepts this as his decorations. Because more and more pastimes will be manifested, and then more and more love will be in reciprocation with Brajvastis. Okay. I have to finish this chapter today. Shri Chaitanya Nityanan Advaita Mahatmatva Tar Bhakti Bhakt Naam Prem Ras Tattva Bhin Bhin Likhiyache Kariya Vichar Shuni Le Jani Be Sab Vastu Tattva Saar Shri Krishnaj Kaviraj Goswami is saying So in this chapter He is described the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Nityam Prabhu, Sri uh, uh, Advaita Charya Prabhu, and, and their devotees, and, their, and the devotion 
also the glories of naam bhagwan naam the glories of prem and the glories of ras tatva okay by hearing this everyone will be able to know the tatva complete tatva शिरू प्रभुनाथ पदे जा राज चेतन चेतामित कहे कृष्ण दास दिस लास्ट वर्ड्स ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट चैप्टर आदि लीला एंड द सेम वर्ड्स ही इज राइटिंग एट द एंड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी चैप्टर सो वेन एवर दिस वर्ड्स कम्स दैट मीन्स द चैप्टर इज ओवर शिरू प्रभुनाथ पदे जा राज चेतन चेतामित कहे कृष्ण दास वट इज द मीनिंग सेंग ओनली टू ओनली विद डिजायर टू अटेन द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री रूप गोस्वामी एंड श्री रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी रूप रघुनाथ ओनली डिजायरिंग टू अटेन द लोटस फीट ऑफ रूप एंड रघुनाथ दिस कृष्ण दास इज नरेटिंग Shri Chaitanya Chaitamrit. So this shows the purpose of his writing Shri Chaitanya Chaitamrit. Why is writing this? For the pleasure of Rupa Raghunath. Only to attain the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Goswami and Shri Raghunath Das Goswami. Attaining the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Goswami is the only aim and object of all gaudiya vaishnavas and this is shown by our acharyas shri narottam thakur he prayed ha ah. what is praying shri rupa manjari pada sei mora sampada This is what is showing the ultimate goal of all body of Vishnu's is to only one to attain the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Manjari, Shri Rupa Goswami. Nothing else. So the Bhakti Siddhan Sasi Thakur. Shri Bhakti Nath Thakur and all acharyas they said the same thing. So similarly, at the end of every chapter, Shri Chaitanya Chaitamrit, Kaviraj Goswami also writes in this: Shri Rupa Raghunath Pare Jar Aash Chaitanya Chaitamrit Kare Krishna Das. And but by hearing this, we should also have to set up our goal. Why we are hearing Chaitanya Chaitamrit? We want to become pundit. No. The purpose of hearing Chaitanya Chaitamrit is may we can get also under the guidance of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami the lotus feet of Shri Shri Rup Raghunath and Shri Shri Gaur Nitanand Prabhu. our practice our hearing of shri chaitanya chaitamrit if krishna ma prabhu get please to see that every day we are hearing this without a failure so far i don't know about tomorrow if i am alive or not but so far oh, as long as we can hear this this is our sadhan this is our practice and the result Uh, not desert the fruit of this practice this sadhana is we want what he rup goswami ho shri rup manjari he rup goswami pa he raghunath das goswami oh all the six goswamis oh gurudev we want to attain the lotus feet of shri rup goswami shri rup manjari that's the only goal 
if they get pleased to us, we only ask in this from you, nothing less and nothing more than that. Nothing less. Not anything less than that. And not anything more than that because there is nothing more than that. It's the ultimate. The ultimate. Okay. So, here we end. <clears throat> the first chapter. Adi Leela. Shri Shri Chaitanya Shaitanya. Gaur Premanande. Hari Hari. Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Ki. Shri Shri Guru Pad Padma Ki. Jagat Guru Shri Prabhupada Ki. Shri Bhakti Nath Atur Ki. Anant Koti Vishnu Vrind Ki. Guru Mangal Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki. Granth Raj Shri Shri Chaitanya Chaitanya Ki. Itai Gaur Premanande. Hari Hari. Jai. So finally, chapter is complete. Yes, <laughs> everyone is happy because chapter is complete. <laughs> Good. So, uh, this Sunday will be again exam quiz contest. Okay. Today is what? Wednesday. Yes. Okay. I will plan something. Let's see. Okay. Achha. Hare Krishna. I can't sit so long. So please unmute everyone. I can just say Hare Krishna and then. Oh my goodness. Okay.